Hello. It's that time of year where most of the flowers on the dwarf runner beans and dwarf broad beans have set. We now have pods and they're ready to harvest. Uh, I'm going to take them all today and I'm then going to prepare the uh, spent compost in the pots for recycling. Um, and there's something I want to show you in those pots as well if I can at the end of this video. So stick with it to the end. Um, so we'll do the dwarf runner beans first. And this is a bean called um, Tender Green. These are 10 inch pots and there's four beans uh, growing in each pot. Okay. <coughs> this is Tender Green. As you can see, these guys are ready now. There's no point in leaving them any longer. Um, let's get them off. And I grew um, two pots of each, two pots of uh, dwarf runner beans and two pots of dwarf broad beans. Uh, I think Molly's trying to help me pick these beans, isn't she? Yeah. Okay. So you don't get a lot. But remember, this is a 10 inch pot on a patio. If you've got more ground, you'd be growing standard uh, sized beans, wouldn't you? But if you're short of ground, you're short of space, this could be something you might want to try. Not bad from a plant pot, is it? And these beans tend to be a more rounder bean. Uh, the pod's more round than flat. A standard uh, runner bean is, tends to be a flat pod. These tend to be a rounder pod. Uh, but they're a lovely bean. I've had these before. One fell through the net, but I won't be recovering that one, it's been recovered for me. <laughs> okay, so that's how dwarf, uh, dwarf runner be. Worth growing, don't you think? Yeah, of course it is. Uh, we'll get the uh, broad dwarf broad beans now. Okay, these are the uh, dwarf broad beans. I'm sure you can see those. This is a bean called um, the Sultan. I'm going to take them all. Big or small because we're at the end of the season now and smaller ones won't get much bigger so we may as well have them all. And the ones that fall, <laughs> my gardening assistant will do the tidy up, I'm sure. This is the second pot. Not a bad uh, not a bad bean, what do you say?
So if you fancy growing those things in pots on your patio, this is the sort of harvest you can expect, I guess. Um, and it's up to you whether you decide it's worthwhile or not. Okay. Broad grains, what broad grains, what from the grains? What do you think? I think it's worthwhile. Uh, then I'm going to show you something that I think is quite interesting about these, uh, this particular family of plants. This is one of the dwarf broad beans. Uh, I'm hoping to be able to turn this out into this barren now and actually show you something. Um, I told you these, these plants belong to a variety of plants that um, have a trick up their sleeve, shall we say. They have a trick up the sleeve. Okay. They belong to a family of uh, plants that are nitrogen fixes. Okay, I'm not going to give you the science of this, but I'll give you the gardening of this. Nitrogen's good, okay. And they get their nitrogen from the atmosphere, apparently, and fix it as nodules on the roots. Now, they then release this nitrogen into the soil uh, to benefit themselves, but to benefit other plants around them. And they also, if you leave the roots in, I'll leave the nitrogen behind to benefit any future crops. So the idea is that we harvest these, but we leave the nitrogen behind if there is any. Uh, we don't discard that. We we'll keep that. So let's see if we can find some nitrogen nodules on these roots that are visible. Let me shake this off. Fine. Okay. Well, I can see a few small ones. I'm not too sure you'll see them, uh, and there aren't that many. But there are some. So you know, there has been some nitrogen fixing going on here, and all these roots are beneficial. So that will be chopped up and stay in the soil with the nitrogen fixes. Uh, we'll put this uh, to one side. Let's have a look at this one. Can you see those? I don't know if you can. If I turn them down, they're the small white white specks. Um, that's them. I don't know if you can see them at all. But that's there. The uh, that's the nitrogen. There, look. There's a, a big, bigger nitrogen module where my thumbs are. I, it, it's hard to see this. Uh, I thought there might have been a bit more uh, obvious, but... Um, oh, there we go, there you go. They look a lot whiter, don't they? That's the nitrogen that's been fixed as nodules by these roots. And the last thing we want to do that is throw that away. We want to keep that in the uh, compost. We want to recycle that. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. Oh, there's more on this one. This one must have been a better nitrogen fixer. Hold on. Let me just see if I can contrast the, the light against the dark. I don't know if I can. How's that? Can you see the light against the dark? I'm not too sure what you're getting there, to be honest. This might be a complete waste of time. That's nitrogen, nitrogen nodules from the roots of, uh, of these beans. And that's going to stay in the soil. That's not going anywhere. Okay. Now, I'll do... Um, I'll do one of those um, runner beans, dwarf runner beans, and just see if it's got more to show. Um, now look, there's nitrogen falling everywhere. Nitrogen nodules on the roots. Uh, but I'll spend a when I knock the camera off, I will spend a bit more time with this compost, sifting through it and getting all the goodness out of it. There'll be nothing wasted here, eh? I'll tell you that now. Nothing. Okay, look out, Mol. So, we'll pop these to one side and we'll do one of the dwarf runners and see if we can find nitrogen nodules there as well. So 
have a look at this guy. Now before I, uh, before I started shooting this video I went on to uh, the internet to get some information on these nitrogen nodules and it's understandable but it's hardly memorable <laughs> and I don't want to try and you know explain the mechanics of how this actually works because uh, I know I'll, I'll make a mess of it but if, if we just stay in gardening parlance I'm okay so let's just say that this stuff is very beneficial to plants and we don't want to lose it, we want to retain it. And this compost now is probably more nitrogen rich now than it was when I put it in. Well that's got to be a win-win hasn't it? <laughs> we want nitrogen, it's got to be a win-win. Right, see if this guy will show you anything. Oh, there you go, look. I hope these are the, I think you might be able to see those. There seems to be a lot more spaced out, but there's a lot more. They're the uh, nitrogen nodules on the root. And they're staying exactly where they are. They'll be in that compost the next time it's used, which may be next year. But it will not be getting thrown out. I'll reinvigorate this with some blood fish and bone probably and it's already got additional nitrogen in it from these nodules so we're happy with that anyway I think you've seen enough of this haven't you yeah of course you have um, so oh look at that uh, dwarf beans in pots on a patio you can do it I've just done it there's other benefits, you can produce your own nitrogen nodules to enrich your compost for next, the next growing season. Um, have a go, why not? Okay, this is homegrown veg, signing off.